if I if I click on this tuple image yes we have the image but we just have one image let's try to have more than one images for that I have the collection of unsplash photos and then inside this first I'm going to clear all these events we have and then I'm going to create a constant called images this is actually an array of images so first this image like this and then I can grab all the image from here and paste it and every image should be in double double quotes or single quotes like this so here we have so here we have all all the four images next uh, i can also remove this uh, class based component we have created yeah removed now i'm going to create a section a simple html tag which is section inside this i'm going to create a div in this div i'm going to have a image and then i can say images actually this is inside this so images and getting the first one and let's give some width of uh, let's say 150 and now if i toggle we have only one image that's good what if i want to have one more image i'm going to copy and paste this and try to get the first index now we have one and two but these two images are vertical i want horizontal and remember we have a tailwind css and tailwind css is very easy we can make these things in line so first i can create a div like this and then inside it i'm going to give a class name and that is actually flex justify center and let's try this one and yeah we have at the center and in horizontal one more if you want to have second image then you can do like this but you can see we are repeating our code and what if you have thousands of images in that way we need to create the images with the loop so I can simply remove these two we just have one and I want I'm going to create the curly braces because I want to have the JavaScript here so let's try to say for each but for each loop is going to use array of images and let's do one thing I'm going to remove this from here and I'm going to show you by logging I just log here and I can say for each and array is images dot for each then we get image and I can say inside the image I can have all these div like here and let's return it so we are looping through each images and we are returning new div with the image tag but we are logging so we will see what we are getting for this for each loop let's try click on toggle we are only getting one image that is actually because of this div or in the console we are getting undefined because this for each is actually not returning anything instead of this for each we can use map when i use map then i can actually convert this into image only like this when i convert it to map map is actually looping through each of the items of this images array but it will return whatever we have defined here so so in the map we are actually getting the new array with this format let me show you click on toggle image and you can see instead of undefined we are getting four images 
and actually every div is a react jsx and that's why we are having dollar dollar type of symbol react dot element that means we have a four jsx and that actually we need here we need the jsx so i'm going to cut all these things from here removing this log and replacing this div with the curly braces inside curly braces we have this map and we know this map is returning an array of this uh, div or various divs now i can see if i click yeah hey we have four different images just like this we have that's very nice and uh, next what if i want to use for loop so if i try to use for loop this is actually not going to work or in a way it could work but that is a different thing what we can do next we can say we have a images images oops images component okay and this is a component i'm going to create generally we create a component inside this uh, components directory but instead of this i'm going to create a component inside a component yes we can create a component inside a component so i'm going to create a component called images component or instead of this why not say show image this is a more descriptive one and then i'm going to move this javascript part without curly braces into this one and this is simply returning all the images we are having so by doing this it will going to work exactly the same but then we can see we have actually moved all the showing part of image into its dedicated component which is actually inside a component so component inside another component so this is the way we can have a loop over all the images